Hey, hey, welcome back to another video. It is Friday and you know what that means, another Life by You update. And today is actually a really interesting one because we have Life by You's GM, Rod Humble, to talk to us about design decisions and what they're doing with the gameplay tuning and also to ask questions to us, the community, about what we want to see from the early access. So this is a very important one. Definitely give your feedback on the tweet. I will link it in the description below. Let's talk about this. Let's see what they have to say. And let's give them actually constructive criticism, okay? Don't be negative just to be negative. This is like a passion project, it feels like, for, for them. And seeing Rod do this and take the time to talk about all this stuff and share the game with us is just, it's gonna be great. So we're gonna react, talk about it as we go along. I, I'm gonna put it, uh, share my thoughts and we will, we'll see how it goes. All right, so they posted this uh, tweet a couple hours ago. Join Life by You GM. Ron Humble as he talks through some of the design decisions they're making around gameplay and tuning and asks you all some questions to help us make key choices heading into early access. So it's an 18 minute video. Grab your drink, sit back, relax. This is a G Fuel. It matches my hair. Let's watch this because I'm so curious what they have to tell us and I love seeing more about this game. All right, let's do it. It's Rod here. Um, so I wanted to walk you through a couple of design issues I'm working on this week and I would love to get your feedback on it. Design um, issues, eh? So there are two things. Uh, first one is going to be super quick, which is talking about dishwashers. And I'll, I'll walk you through that in a second. Dishwashers? And the second one is more in depth and that is economy tuning and how much currency, how much money um, a character should good. start out mm, with. Good or question. household good should question. start out with and what kind of wealth they should have. Um, if you're playing it, just as is diegetically. Uh, obviously, you can go in and give yourself a gazillion uh, currency anytime you want in Life by You. So if you want to start in the big mansion with That's the fancy good. sports car, you can do that. But like the but general is, like, starter uh, the, money? Oh, how, how would you generally mm. like the currency to be tuning tuned at the start of the game? Um, so we'll get into that in a moment. But first, let me just show you I'm not sure. how um It just depends on work. how much you can and earn so and how quick you can earn money. Right now, I know The Sims uh, is like 20000 And as you can see, I but can... But it depends on how this game's economy it's got is. got this uh, script attached to it. And Washing machine? That okay, can do okay. you know, just about anything within Start it. Start laundry. But it's also got <gasps> these... It's part of a Arcade machines? What was that? Progression is Those where you tag cool. Cool. certain objects and you assign a level to it. And oh, then, cool. regardless of what it's got on it, in addition, it also gets this stuff. Ah, and so the levels at the uh, by early access, the ones that we've got in now are zero through 10, okay. but these levels actually can be as high as you like. So it can go up to hundreds. Um, you can have a bunch of levels. But you know, assuming zero through 10 right now, let me walk you through what this is. So level zero, um, um, we tend to use level zero for things that you get for free at the start of the game. So the okay. laptop that you get at the start of the game is a level zero laptop, mm, for example. Okay. So it, the idea is, you know, these you can upgrade are your objects to usually, better you, it's not worth your time to sell objects? them for cash. Yeah. They're there as a backup oh. until you get a you know, a higher level utility that you will need. Okay, that makes um, sense. So, and level zero ones and low level ones generally have problems. So in this case, level zero ones are a water waster. And what that does <laughs> is that will add Waste to your water. daily utility oh, no. cost bill. So you okay. get charged for That's kinda cool. electricity, I like that. I like that. water, uh, uh, gas if uh, if appropriate and so forth um, the capacity is how many loads of dirty laundry uh, it can take the cycle length is how long in in-game minutes and real world seconds it takes to do a load of laundry okay. and then reliability is um, how, how often it break. will resist breaking yeah. down and okay. the higher number, the better here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, high-level things are better, but they also tend to cost more. Um, so you can also have a whole bunch of different appropriate skills, but I will... Uh, here we go. So you could also say, oh, this is not available on build mode. Like, you have mm. to go and buy it 
or oh. discover it in a store or you have to build it by crafting so that can be very very handy because you don't necessarily want everything to be available all the time in build mode yeah um, you know, sometimes you'll want to uh, out of the gameplay so for washer dryers we already have um in terms of sinks let me go for they have so many things i can't wait let's see if we've got one here i want to build hopefully this one works yeah this one we've already got uh, you can put in the dirty dishes and you can uh, wash the dirty dishes so i'm just going to bring over that script when i do um uh, when i do the uh, dishwashing machines um, but it's more a how how deep would you want to go with dishwashing <laughs> machines is how this deep? kind of like mm. oh yeah we'll we'll have these these basic models um or is this something that we think is like oh actually you know I, I, i'd like to go kind of deep uh here so again you can already do wash your dishes in every sink in the game uh, and particularly the kitchen sinks but um yeah my question is how deep should we add dishwashers and uh, <laughs> we definitely want to have them right yeah, but, yeah. You know, do we do it to this level or do we do it to i think is TV a pretty big one? No, there's a, there are some progressions here that mm. are pretty deep. Hold on I don't second. think it needs to be super long. Like, you know what? Maybe I think I ought to not. Oh, the what house, they've the set there is a good number. Fair. But that's, um, this is where you can just it. still gives you something to work towards so you can and say, to hey, upgrade instead your of objects. Going in manually and changing a really every cool single thing. plant's cost. Like, you know, you can I think that makes it so. So you just tag them. It feels um, more like real life. So that is that, and oh, I'm going to spend forever in here if, uh, if I if I <laughs> if I spend too much time. So there we go. That is uh, okay. the that dishwasher so discussion. So I'd love your thoughts on dishwashers mm. and what level of fidelity you want. Oh, the other thing I want to um, talk to you about I think regarding different dishwashers types of is: dishwasher? should we have hmm. a special skill associated with it? So right now hmm. we. Cleaning use cleaning yeah. for a whole bunch of different activities dishwashing could be uh, its own skill <laughs> um so I mean, should it, we it is kind of a skill. combine it with that i think we also use it for laundry mm -hmm. so it's becoming a little overloaded or should we break out these separate them separate them i'd rather have separate be a more skills. general skill of like you know things that you do around the home or should mm -hmm. they go even more specialized um and again it's easy to do both but it's really a question of what we uh, want. I'm asking uh, the community in terms of how crunchy and how deep do you want this gameplay to <laughs> Super go? Super crunchy. And obviously, mods and yourselves, you'll be able to add any crunch you want, but we also don't want to um, you know, add they don't want to extra overwhelm gameplay depth if it's like, oh, it, it's just confusing or, it's, yeah. or it gets in the way. So anyway, that is that. Uh, okay. So you know, we can add... Um, uh, skills and all of that progression mm. the next thing i want to talk to you about is the starting cash so here is the current tuning level. okay so they have it and set and let to me walk you through this so this is the weekly minimum wage um, of 250 weekly universal universal basic income that you get if you uh, don't have a oh, job that's awesome um and uh, i think you can turn that off i think if if somebody wants to do a you know a hermit or somebody who's completely off the grid i think you can turn it off if that not would be good. Sure it, it should be turn off but for by sure. default you get um a, a universal basic income which essentially is going to be good enough for you to uh start to make crafting income from all of our crafting s systems if you want okay i or like you that i just, like that you know, have a family uh on it um which is kind of the point because you want to be able to tell your story but here is the formula for how we generate the starting currency for characters and so households at the beginning. So a, the first household member will give you uh, 200,000 and a little bit extra. And then for every additional adult or teen, you get 500. And then for each child, you get 5,000. 200,000? So... The reason for this odd tuning is like, whoa, 200 grand right at the beginning so you can buy is a because house? we've tried to go for a plausible real estate pricing. Okay. So we have 
got real estate pricing by square foot within the build tool and also the sum of all of the objects, including the nice. progression factors that I showed you earlier awesome. as the basic cost. We didn't want to have um, a toy economy because yeah. we think that part of the the benefit of a life sim set in modern times is you you get to bring across like semi plausible real world prices, right? I and, like that. You know, yeah. In the Sims numbers tourist are towns, ridiculously you know, or, or real estate in general, off. can go into the hundreds of thousands or millions of euros. I like or it being more realistic. Pounds, wherever you are. And we wanted that to be reflected within our game. So this tuning means that you can afford one of the starting houses okay. and a scooter or a bike, hmm. but you can't afford a car hmm. um, that makes sense. with this tuning. Is that right or wrong? And actually, you know what, instead of um, be spending more time you look guys looking at a tool why don't i take you into the game but let me no 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 i like looking at this stuff because i'm sure that there are some i'm trying to learn game design love, so this is uh, great economy tuning same as i do um and you can well i know i know there are some of you so i just want to highlight these so this is the utility cost per square meter the maintenance cost per square meter why is um, a teenager only worth 500 but a child is worth five thousand? <laughs> there we go and so here's that water I feel like a teenager flag. should so be like another thousand. It just makes things a little Teenagers bit more expensive, expensive right? um, because you're wasting water every week. And we also can do that with power and so forth. Okay. Uh, the lawn care cost, but oh, that's I cool. See, I, I see. think that's, um, maybe lawn that's care? fertilizer. I don't oh. know that you can get from other things. But anyway, so that is the, the economy one. And hmm. let me show you one other thing i love seeing this type cost. of stuff this is so interesting to me and so this is all part of the um the economy tuning that you can do and of course you can Visual you can add um, more things as well when you modify this i've got There's this a bunch in of code behind right this now. but at least it's I, will visually I will walk you through modding um another time but all right let's go into the game here we are in the character creator with that tuning um, i also forgot to mention that you also get charged charge for your clothes so that oh. will also come out of this amount. So it makes it makes tuning um, quite uh, challenging. Because your clothing um, will cost. I think that that That's kind cool. of I do like that um, too. The, that kind of crunch is what I like in games, and I I, I, I think yep. uh, many of you will like that as well. So this is the kind I hate how of setup the that you'll be able to afford sense. with that kind of tuning. They don't and cost money. You'll notice the one thing that you can't afford here is no car. You know, a car. Okay. Um, so if I was to go into that, like all of a sudden, I'm hugely in debt. Uh, I think the cheapest car I did this the other week is mid-level coupe. Like the mid-level thirty-four thousand mid-level coupe, or is it just the basic car? There's one in here. Some, normal there, car. Normal car. Twenty-nine. Um, no, it's not. It was. It was that used one. But as you can see, that's pretty pricey. Yeah. Um, so that is my overall question: is is this too much? Is, you know, what level of tuning would you like to see for mm. your game? Would you, now the other thing I'm thinking of doing is adding background traits. It's this turbulent childhood one right now. Um, you know, I would be adding background traits of things like, oh, got a hand-me-down car, right? And so then you would get either enough money or you would get um an actual yes. car yes do um, that also do that. that's really cool have background i like traits that of was moved here you know by a business or you give you them know, a bit more like come out of a characters. successful phase yes. in life so yes. you'd actually have a larger starting uh, currency here uh but at the cost of um one of your uh your background traits uh, mm. slots okay. the reason i mentioned that is i i would love for it to be more than just money or just you know a one shot it, it's kind of like why yeah. um i don't know about you but i hate potions in um in you know fantasy rpgs because i always hold on to them <laughs> like till the last because i hate the idea of burning things um and not yeah. being able to use them again and you know at the when you're in character creation you've only got a limited number of 
um, trait. So I don't want you to have to burn a trait just to gain like a thousand bucks, right? Like it, it ought to be something that, yes, does do that, that but also affects. does other things as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, like to that. remind everybody, you know, if, if I did want to start with, um, you know, you a... Just a car i could do sorry about the lighting folks we're just in the middle of redoing it um yeah, yeah. i could just just do that um but let's assume that i don't want to do that oh my sorry about that sorry about the lighting team there we go, there we go. <laughs> actually the art team work is in progress work in progress most annoyed with me because they're like hey we're, we're fixing it right now Come we on. are fixing it right now um, sorry let's team. give him the road bike and then i will prune this but I'm assuming that, yeah, most people don't like doing that, right? Like, even though you can, really, you want to be able to balance it in two. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to keep yakking. Part of the I, fun of a life sim is being able to, like... So that's my overall question, is... Build your own life however you want. What would the bounds be but I think, like, that Rags you would like for that one of the starting most popular uh, cash? That starting... Play? Um, that starting, starting with money, nothing and build your way up. Um, in the game. Um, so that is question number one. Um... Hold on a second. I'll turn on the audio yeah, uh -huh. for a second so you can. I don't want to. It does look a little bit crisper now. Maybe you can hear it now. Okay. I think Let's the see. quality the looks better than last outside. time. I think it's got the, um, less of that like we got blurriness. The, we got the water or like the uh, bloom or whatever in. they used to use. And it's it's a it's a question of how tightly should the early um, should the early game be tuned you know yeah. so so as i mentioned my aim is i think it should be i thought it would be cool because we've got such an extensive crafting system which i'll, I'll or systems i should say plus I a crafting can't wait a um i gotta turn off the background audio so you don't have to worry about it um is i i like the idea of you know starting out and then you go and get a job or you um, you know, start to uh, make things creatively using creative projects. Like on the laptop, you can write novels. Make your own Etsy you shop. Can go out and um, harvest seashells or wildflowers, and you know, start to start to craft there. That's well, awesome. they got the little uniforms in. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cute. Although this one is weird because they come in here. They walk they through the down. door. Anyway, we will <laughs> fix it up for you. Um, Tree texture so I like that really idea realistic. of being Oddly able to make money in interesting almost. ways. Or I could just go and get a job. Did they update um, those? And I promised I wouldn't show the phone UI, but <laughs> there's a phone. We're working on the phone um, UI still. Job getting app in there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I I will keep my word. I, w I won't uh, I won't show it, but it is in there. Yeah. Um, so that's really my main question: is is what that what should that balance be? Um, and in the meantime, I think I'm done <laughs> with this video. Are we? Are we? But done? no, you still got a couple minutes because left. Because we, uh, because you've you've sat. That was what, an obs what observable. Uh, I'd love to have seen what that was. But because you've sat through all of this, let's what are you going to show us? What are you going to show us? I, I love this Something park. Secret. This so park is nice gorgeous. Um, oh, we saw this park actually, last time. What I want to do. And the lighting was all like really is, purple i want to and that was because they were working on it here we go there's a trove is that a trove oh, i just disappeared let's it's go looking better now though let's go see if it's respawned there's a whole bunch also, of new troves there and i want to go and collect one so let's see quality. if there's one on this side we'll cover the... troves alongside crafting in a future video world. if not what i will do is troves like I'll treasure treasure here. troves what's this taking a view and then i'll end it um, oh is it like a a park a viewpoint, vista point. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Actually, let me, let me, there we go. Clicky, click it. Question click, click, click. In Life oh. by You, food generation currently leads to dirty dishes that can be cleaned in any sink. And laundry can be handled with washing machines, with mm. both activities using the same cleaning skill. We're no, planning to introduce skills. dishwashing machines. How in-depth would you like this gameplay to be? Should it be on the same level as washer dryers, or would you prefer something less or more detailed? Additionally, what about other homemaking activities, such as tidying? How intricate would you want these aspects of gameplay to be? Is detailing homemaking gameplay a significant factor for you? Question two. 
we're considering adjustments to the starting wealth in the game. Since players can add or subtract money at any time, including during household creation, what economic situation would you prefer the player's characters to begin with in the world? Would you like them to start as wealthy, modest with room for growth, or something else? Currently, characters questions. who haven't been changed can afford a cute cottage and a bicycle or a skateboard at the beginning, working their way up to more luxurious possessions. If money matters to their gameplay style, of course. Would you prefer the player's economic situation to be defined by background traits selected by the player at character start? That's it. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess that's that. Very interesting questions that they're raising because it's like, okay, they could go a lot deeper with all these skills, but like how much is too much, right? Like this game already has a lot encompassed in it. I think the dishwasher progression, I don't think it needs to go like too crazy, like more than what they've set. I think it's good to do that, but I do think that it should be a separate skill level than just cleaning. Cause I feel like cleaning is such a generic one, right? Like we could still separate like tidying up or I don't know. I feel like they should be separate somehow. I'm not sure exactly how, but I feel like it would be really good if you were able to level up those skills and get better and quicker at those specific things, not just in general, better at everything. Cause like, that's not realistic. I, just cause I do the dishes doesn't mean I'm, I'm good at folding laundry, right? So maybe they have like a cleaning skill tree and then little smaller skill levels, like level 10 of cleaning. And then underneath that there's tidying up, making the bed, dishes, mopping, like like actually surface cleaning, stuff like that. I feel like they could separate that, but it still kind of be under the same umbrella of cleaning. But then you can get better skills and better at those specific types of cleaning. Would that make sense? Hopefully someone sees this. <laughs> what do you guys think? Answer these questions in the comment below so that we can uh, make sure more info gets to the team and also leave a comment on their tweet if you'd like to because I'm sure that'll be where they'll for sure see it but we can still have a discussion here because this is very interesting to me and I love being able to put some input into where this is gonna go and then the economic part is a little bit tricky it's a little tricky because like we want them to to start off as like starters right like a starting family should be a starting wage, a starting everything. And I like that they've set it up where it's more like realistic, but 200,000 is still very high, I think. They said that you can buy a, a nice house, but like, what about apartments? Like, I wonder if there's a way to get traits that make it, I don't know if they have apartments in this game yet, actually, I'm like making it up now. But what if they had where you had to start in an apartment if you got like the background trait for that? where you had to start in a different type of house and you'd have less money then. So then you don't have $200,000 and then living in like a shack, right? I kind of hope that maybe there's something like, like that they could do. And yes, tied to the background is a big one. I think that that would make sense. And I think that being able to give yourself like, oh, came from a, a, a rich family trust fund, then you have all the money you want or it came from a single parent household, you have half as much money. There's like a lot of detail that you can go into for that, but also like we don't want to make it too confusing at the basic level, but maybe there's like a few different starts that you can select from. So like not every, every time you make a character, it's not going to be the same, right? It's going to adjust based on your backgrounds and your traits and everything else that kind of all encompasses starting with. So does that make sense? I don't know. I hope it makes sense. But if you have any more uh, ideas for what they could do, leave a comment. Let me know. I'm very, very curious about what they're going to make of this and how we're going to see this implemented in the game. And hopefully they take our feedback and we can see it come to life even more. I will say the game looks better than the last video even. I did like the, the filter they had on before, but like I think it looks a little more clear and you can kind of see everything a little bit more now. So I do like that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Hope you guys like this little chat and video and uh, make sure you leave a like.
and subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next Friday, hopefully. All right, have a good one. Bye. Thank you.